Hello, so this is how I do my makeup. I already did my eyebrows. Um, you can use like a pencil and sometimes this is cl clairol and it's like a root touch up so you can kind of add a little bit of that to make them a little bit darker. So you got like this where you got the powder and you got the little brush and a mirror. So if you wanted to make them a little bit bolder because problem is sharpening the pencil is sometimes a pain if you don't have the right sharpener for it. Just doesn't want to sharpen. So do that to my eyebrows. <coughs> and this is a spoola, so you can use it for eye your eyelashes, but you can also use it to brush your eyebrows. Best to get a silicone little um, thing too. You can clean the brushes while wetting them and cleaning them and your other brushes too when you put your powder on. So that's a great thing to have. So there's that. Little um, makeup cushions are good to have. So I have BB Fresh Dream Maybelline Primer. Good to put on too. Put that all over the face. You always get a darker or lighter shade if you want. If you want to look tanned or pale, it's up to you. If ever you had match your color, because that just looks off and weird. Let's see. And I use concealer. Um, I prefer that more than foundation because I find foundation can be a little bit more cakey. So you can just go where you got pimples and stuff. Just use a makeup cushion and just rub that in. Where you got pimples or scarring. hard to do this in front of the camera instead of the mirror. The problem with my phone is instead of a white frame, it has a black frame, so it's hard to pinpoint where my actual camera is, and then I'm realizing I'm not looking at that. And even not just uh, acne or scarring, also put that around wrinkles too. It acts like a great wrinkle filler too. So that is um, Hide the Blemish and by Rimmel London. Ooh, Shoppers. Yeah, so those two things I got at Shoppers. This I got at, um, I think that was Rexel Pharmacy. This I actually got at DRS Skincare. Um, so that's a dermatologist. It's Glow Minerals Powder. So I find that's great too if you want to get rid of shinies. And you just want like a smooth finish on your skin instead of having something shiny. Unless you prefer that. I don't go too much under the eyelids because a makeup consultant did tell me you don't have pores under your eyes, so we're your not eyelids, but under the eyes. So I've been told that.
all that ugly powder off my eyes. And my eyes are just like really red, so that's why I like to go like this. Just to hide those veins. Yeah. It wasn't done so great, but it's hard to see here compared to the mirror. So that's the only downfall. And I have one of those round lights to help do with that, so. But yeah, let's go in the brighter area where I have it brighter. Let me see a little better. I didn't add moisturizer, so that's a definite thing to definitely do. Should have done that. Forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> Don't forget that. Mm. All right, well, enjoy. And look beautiful, inside and out. Mm. Stay safe, bye.